Welcome back everyone to Smite. I'm playing some ranked middle lane today. Um, I know I played ranked middle lane not super duper long ago. Uh, but I've been having lots of fun in middle lane. I think I said that before. Like all of the mages that I like playing right now are in the meta. Which just makes playing middle lane bunches of fun in my opinion. So I've been doing a lot. And I played Rallo a while ago but I didn't play him in the middle lane. So now we're going to play him in the middle lane. And hopefully have a super duper fun time. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how we'll see how, how much fun this goes to. Um, so... I don't know why people aren't banning Erling Shen, to be honest. I guess I kind of get it. I guess there's like other gods you want to ban, like Al Quang Terror, but I honestly feel like Erling Shen might be the best god right now. It's very close. I think he's like, I think it's like Erling Shen Terror right now for best gods in the entire game. Once the Terror nerf goes through, I think Erling Shen will be like number one god. I guess on Xbox, Al Quang is still super duper strong, but uh, I don't know. Erling's pretty close and he's pretty, pretty dang annoying. Anyways, because on her starting backs, I'm going to start with my one. So that I can hit backs and these and the uh, and the red buff to help them out. Um, hopefully get my soul stone stack and then hit them both. Even though your heal does more damage at level one by a little bit. I think it's like 120 for your heal if you get all the ticks and this is 95. Um, being able to help with the backhands is a lot more helpful. So if you're, if my ADC starts backhands, I'm 100% starting my one every time. We gotta turn around. I think it might be too far. I got one. I got at least one, that's fine. So I helped out my team. I helped out my team with my, with my solar beam. It's a good thing. Especially because on his back camp clear is pretty slow in comparison to most others. I probably could have walked into the uh his dash there, so that he take mini negro, and then uh, he takes some takes some damage from that, and I'll be able to hit him with some abilities. But I don't really want to fight at level one with raw, even though I have my heal. All right, we're just gonna play it safe. We're gonna play it safe. We can get some items online. We'll be super duper good. One more for my soul stone. Well, bam! All that damages. See if they did right mid. I'm assuming they did, because they would have taken a long time to do backs or do uh, imps. They just did imps. Okay, so we're gonna go straight to backs. Makes sense. Makes sense for Kit. I assume they did those also. Step up with my heal on this one, so I can use my one on the wave. Perfect. I'm missing middle. I assume they're doing backs, but I don't want my team to get too overzealous. And yeah, so far so good. I think. I not hit by pin. Bam! Look at that. Super decently good clear. Heal up my Sir Cat a little bit. Don't even care about that Agni poke. Just full heals. Probably a wave here, then go and do back lefts. And then I'm... Be like, be pretty close to five. Maybe we should do one more wave. Uh, yeah, I'll do one more wave, I think. One more wave than do backs, since they're missing. Enemy missing middle. So you can push it quickly and go do backs. And I'll be five off of this wave. Oh, Sir Kettic Tower Shot feels Batman. And I go for some backs. Don't know where they are. Alright, they're back in the middle. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that back in the middle lane. Also, shout out to Soulstone uh, proc helping with the heal. Call missing middle again. Due to I still don't know where they are. I really hate this time of the game playing mid lane because it's like I assume they're rotating for like back camps and mid camps and buffs and all that stuff. But I don't want to. I don't want to call that and have my or like not call that and have my team uh, and have my team like not know where they are and not realize that they're missing and then you know get pooped on. I don't know if they're invading here or if they're going to be in chalk. Oh, they're invading. Nope, they just spawned. I have no idea where they are then. We got first blood. Good job, team. Zero idea where the team is. They're over there. I think Chalk's okay. I'm going to go over here anyways, though. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. He's fine. He's got his ult still. I don't want to miss out on this wave. I mean, I called it like three times, man. I 
I kind of want to back soon because I have my sli my uh, dynasty plate helm, but I'm going to do maybe one more wave. I think I should probably go help with the speed, but Enemy missing right. I don't want to be safe. And I feel like I push up too much. I could just get Agni bombed to death, so I'm going to heal up a little bit. Stay super safe, and then once I back, I'll be able to back for uh, Celestial Helm and Boots 1 at least. Not Celestial Helm, sorry, Dynasty Plate Helm and Boots 1. I'm not going to miss any of this wave either. He's zoning me out. I might have missed one creep, actually. Look at that, we did a thing. I should probably get out then. Hopefully, the circuit has her jump available. Can we get out? Oh, nope, she doesn't. Or she's just staying in. I don't know why. I don't know why she stayed in there. I thought we were just going to get out. That's fine, though. I'm just going to back. I'm going to back here. Going to get my dynasty plate helm for a little bit of defense. Going to get some boots. And a couple of uh, these wards and one, or one, not those wards, what, are they, what am I saying? What am I saying? They're not wards, those are potions. Some potions and then a little bit of ward. We're just going to try and help out our team this game. I want to go do my red, but I kind of want to wait for my circuit to be over there. So I'll just go push wave and then maybe go to red. They're probably going to get left camps for free though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but. Yeah, that's my box is for at least holding those two creeps. I think I can, okay, that's actually a lot of damage. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I can sustain through that. Through that damage for the most part, but... Enemy missing left. A little bit painful. I really just want to go up there and ward. I also want to get my, my red. I helped out a little bit, but I want to get my red buff. Hopefully they're okay for a little bit. Oh, they're not okay. That's too bad. There's a lot of them there, though. That's a big alt by Chalk. Alright, we got the Erling Shen. We could maybe get the Sylvanas here still, too, also. Although, it might be a little bit hard. Or not. That was a pretty good fight. Even though we lost the Shriket there. It was definitely a super good fight for us. Good job, teammates. I don't have an alt to secure this, though. But I think we should be okay. I don't think they have anyone who can come and steal it. Hey team! I was actually really close with the Rama Snipes. Alright, that worked out pretty well. We got a little lead on the Agni here. That. Drop my heal on there, so they can, you know, push a little bit more. And then go see if we can get some imps. I'm pretty sure she's just going to take them, so I'm not even going to rotate for them, to be honest. I'm not really farming well this game, but I'm just trying to play it safe. If I get caught out into like Sylvanas full, Agni stun, Erlang Shen alt. Enemy missing middle. Retreat right lane. Okay. Retreat. Retreat. I'm pretty sure we can stop them from taking speed if they're trying to invade here. That might alt. Or we can just do speed ourselves. That's fine too. Alright. I'm going to go help them out a tiny little bit here by just dropping my heal. A little bit more damages. I'll go back to my middle lane. Push the wave a little bit. Hopefully Vox is okay. It's a Vox. He probably has to jump up. There we go. He's fine. Heal up my team a little bit. I can back soon. I can back soon for, or I can back whenever I want for boots. I'm just gonna back up though. So I'm not sure where the if the ammo's coming mid. Oh no, she's over there. We're fine. We should be okay here. I I kind of want to back, to be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna back. I want to get my boots. Get another couple of those. Get another one of those. So I have a little more ward coverage. Because we have like two wards on the map right now. Hopefully Onher's okay. Hopefully Shikai can get that kill too. Rama's out of mana. Bacchus should be able to survive in the middle lane against three because Bacchus is OP. Enemy missing middle. But they're going over to the left lane. An enemy has been slain. Okay. You are 
I don't know if we can clean this up at all. I don't know why on her stayed there, to be honest. That was kind of a silly decision by him, unless he helped her get the kill. Actually, that might be okay. I'm just going to do red. They should be fine. So it's me, it's to catch. He can get out of anything. He has like 18,000 mobility. Mobility things. Alright. She should be fine. I don't know if early... No, she's fine. Early Shim can't catch her. What am I talking about? It was kind of close, so I gotta be a little bit careful of her diving back line. Maybe we can help out the chalk. No, she dashed. So I'm pretty sure Raw Heal beats, uh, beats Sylvanas Heal. So I'm pretty sure we can now sustain them here. That was a good Aegis. That's fine though, we got his Aegis for that. Which means that my ult will be up way before his Aegis is up. I wish there's a way to call that act as we're down. Those Sylvanas jukes though. Oh, Honor could be in trouble over here. Or he could be fine. One of the two. We're fine though. We got some mid pressure, which is good. Which means our honors. Oh my gosh, she went in again. All right, we got Sylvanas. We got someone. That's a good thing. And the uh, what's his face survived. I'm gonna teleport into middle lane. That's fine for us. That just means that they can get that easy peasy. Although they might not be able to get speed easy peasy. That could be a little bit a little bit difficult. I guess I'll go drop our speed. No, they're fine, never mind. I keep forgetting it's Cat. Like Cat's not gonna get pooped on by anyone. I don't know what they're doing, man. They're going all over the place. I'm just gonna go mid wave. I don't wanna miss out on the mid wave, so. Mid wave is always worth over doing buff camps. Just because the mid wave gets pushed, buff camps don't. I kind of want to help out here, but I'm pretty sure if I rotate, Sylvanas slash Agni are going to rotate. I'm going to go, I'm going to safe path over this way. So I don't get caught out. I'll probably back after this wave. I thought they were rotating. Turns out I was wrong. I mean, Sylvanas might be rotating left. Warrior over there. I want to back after this next wave now, because I think I have... I'm pretty sure Healing Rod's 1500, so I can get Healing Rod. And apply my heals even more, and I can get my second active. I really want to back. My team's like trying to... I think my team's trying to fight. I'm just going to back. Okay. Maybe not. I have no mana, though. So I kind of have to back. I should be fine, though. I'm not going to die to this. I had to bead, so I'm just gonna back. Out of mana. A did a They're fine though. They did good stuff. We get our healing rod, we can get some more mana potions, get another ward, and I'm gonna get some Aegis's. I think my team's okay. Maybe. Ooh, on her might yeah, on her's dead. Even though her alts, I'm surprised she got the kill with her alt being down. Might be able to trade off with the Rama though. That's too bad. I guess not. That's too bad. That was a uh, what? I thought it was a two for two. Great. That's not the worst thing. Although, you know, would have been nice to would have been nice to get a little more. I'm pretty sure they just sentried middle. I th don't think that war should have died yet. I wasn't really paying attention, but I think they might have sentried middle. Which I honestly don't hate. I don't know if I said this before. Getting rid of that vision in the middle lane is actually not a terrible thing. That says kills the other team so much. If they have the if they have the mid lane vision, like you know, so many things off of that. Heal up all that poke. Because Agni doesn't build divine ruin, I think that we win. I think that he really needs to build divine ruin for them to be uh, not have anything good going on there. You know, they're not even doing these. I guess they're what are they doing? 
Are you checking red? Doesn't even look like he's going to build into Divine Ruin. He's not doing a... I feel like if you're building Divine Ruin, you'd start with Tiny Trinket. Look at that timing, though. Look at that super good timing, even though someone on our team died a little bit. Gonna put the key on the back. Nice. All right, well, we trade out one again. I think we should... I don't know if we can get anything else off of this. I'm kind of sad we didn't kill a Rama. A little bit unfortunate. I don't know what they're trying to do. Just drop speed, I guess. Not a terrible choice. Call missing middle. Although it doesn't really matter because my whole team's here. I should probably ward over by the gold period since we have a mid lane ward from Circuit. Ultimate is down. I don't think they can do gold. Actually, they have Ram no Rama back. They can't do gold. All right, we got a ward over there too. I'm just gonna place a ward right up top left. So we have a little all the uh, all that vision there. I feel like that's where most rotations are coming from. It's like bottom under here, which I can see coming, and top left. So. Although the fact that the fact that Am is this far ahead is kind of a little bit not great. I guess the chalk. You kind of want the chalk to, you know, poop on her early. Oh, they can't do it. They're just they're just warding. They can't take gold when we're up. They don't have any like secure for it. And you kinda need secure for gold fury against the raw. I just have to go over there and I can steal it. Easy peasy. Okay, he went in super hard. But we got the Aegis off of that, so that's worth. So no more no more Aegis on the Ogni. He probably has beads up, but. You guys probably should have waited to heal him when he jumped out. I wasn't sure if he had to jump up or not. I just want to make sure he got health and didn't die super quick. We're still up on gold, even though we're down two towers. If Agni can get a... Or if Bacchus can get a flop on the Agni, I might be able to kill him. But there's no way for me to say, kill the Agni, please. But whatever. I'll let the honor take the uh, the red buff now. I feel like my scaling might make it better, but for me to have it, but uh, at the same time, it's like I kind of like for him to have you know good damages. All right. Thanks to him for not uh, not you know being that smarter. Oh, I'm not there. All right, we got it anyways. Oh, we killed him also. Can we just do gold. You just do gold. Probably the better call to do right now. The cat's going super deep for some reason. Dropping my heal might be dangerous because it makes me out of mana, but I'm just going to assume that they can't steal it right now. Oh, why's... Okay. He was going over there. I'm going to back. Back, finish off on my healing rod. Hopefully my team doesn't do anything too silly right now. Starting some, some uh, penetration. Sir Ket might be dead. But I feel like Sir Ket's like worth nothing right now. She's been dying a bunch. So like her death... I mean, she's behind their support. So us turning up support for jungle actually isn't terrible. I'm gonna do mids. I think I lost them. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to wait to use my uh, my one. I think if I wait to use my one, I would have been able to take him. But that's fine. At least I still got the lead in the Agni, right? It's a good thing. I'm gonna put down another middle lane ward, and I'm gonna keep an eye on it this time. 
They might have gone to invade speed or something. Nope. They're going back to mid lane. They're super in middle lane. Again, yeah, still no, like... Still nothing coming out of the Agni to stop the healing. And Agni's super good for building Divine Ruin. Just because, like, he's got the, the ticks. He can do a lot of damage. Like, his ultimate's, you know, over three hits. And he's got a lot of, uh... A lot of ticks off of that. Alright. I don't think we should fight this now. I think we should just try and defend, maybe. I feel like, uh, Amos is just too far ahead now for us to do much against her. I also can't really go in there and fight that because I don't know where Alma is. I don't know if both their alts are down or not. If we're only channel alt, I guess I have beads to stop it, but I'd rather not use my beads for that if I can help. They're going to push up right, though. We're going to have to defend here, too. That was terrible. I missed that super a lot. No, he's so shifty. That's too bad. I messed that up big time. I might be dead here. Especially with ammo coming around the back. I'm probably dead. I might be okay, actually. Since she missed her dash. I want to help. I want to help my team. Alright. I gotta be really safe though, because Agni can probably come with an Agni bomb. Okay, Sir Cat. Okay. Okay. Can we still go for Phoenix here? Might be able to go for Phoenix. Nope, I guess not. I'm kind of, I'm oom. I'm just going to back. I think I'll be able to find a siege without me. And I want to get, uh, things and stuff. Get me some wards. I'll get some more visions. And just keep on, keep on doing raw things. I'm still, I'm still mad I missed that, I missed that snipe on the, uh, on the Rama. I think it's because, like, I was kind of rushed a little bit, because you can't really say that you're going to, uh... Like, Bacchus can't be like, I'm flopping... I think she got that. Bacchus can't be like, oh, I'm going to flop the Rama here, and I can, like, line up my snipe for it. So I just have to be like, oh, he's flopping, and then line it up then. You know? I have to, like, line it up super fast and hit it super fast, and it's just, like, it's not super easy to do that that quickly. I think, so I, gotta just, I just got to either pay more, more, pay more attention to it, or... Just be better. One of the two. I'm gonna ward fire. They have wards on fire. I'm gonna save my sentry in case they unsentry. They did. Okay. Defend the fire giant. Ward the fire giant. I'm super dead here. That is a lot of ultimates used. I didn't know that the early shine was still over there. I thought the early shine went back the other way. Um, what do I want here? I guess I'll go for Rot to Hootie. Yeah, a little bit more damage. I love my team damage wise. I kind of want to build defense, I think, like a Spirit Robe. I think a Spirit Robe might be good against this team. Because they don't have a lot of. Like, I don't think Mage Eyes would be needed. Your might be dead. Oh, nice. Good job, team. I feel like, like Mage Eyes wouldn't be terrible because they have a lot of uh, CC, but I feel like the CC isn't like. DC I'd necessarily want to beads all the time, just getting the mitigation afterwards might be might be more worth. Plus getting the extra um extra cooldown from it would be good too. Play like a little bit cooldown online. I mean building Chronos Bandit instead of defense wouldn't be terrible either. Getting the MP5 is always good. And getting the uh, cooldowns always good so I can put out more heals. But I think defense might be more worth. I can't really get up to middle lane to help them out, I don't think, unless they stay forever. I guess I'll try. I'm gonna push up right actually. Or left, I mean. I can't get there in time, and this is going to be pushed into the tower. Maybe you should keep an eye on that guy. That's a huge wave, too. 
I can try and go help him, but I don't think I'll be able to get there in time. And they're fighting into five. I don't think this is worth them to try and dive the Phoenix when it's three versus five. Well, they got it. Whatever. I guess that's worth then. I can give them heals as they retreat. Just something. Something to say for that. At least get something. And I got to push up that wave, got a little bit more experiences. Alright, that might be a little bit... I don't know if Goldfury would be a decent call here, because they've got a lot of they got a lot of people up. And we have not a lot of people up, but whatever. Against my better judgments, I'm going to say go for it, I guess. I seem to not be even coming over here at all, so I think it's fine. They're not there. They're just warding it. I'd say that was worth then. I assume they're going to come right to gold because I figured that'd be like the, the obvious call. If you push something up, like go to gold fury. The fact they didn't is kind of surprising. Maybe a little bit early to use my heal, but I want to make sure that we're all topped off completely if we're going to be fighting them. We have to look for like a flop on the Rama or the Agni, and I need to be able to be in position to follow up. That's neither of the targets I want him to flop on. Maybe we should just go for fire then if they're over there. I actually hit fire. That was an accident. They're probably gonna get that Phoenix now. Because Aim is doing a really good job. Alright, maybe not. I don't like Bach Assault with this, because then it's like, they walk so weird. And I can't... I can't, like, figure out how they're gonna walk, you know? She's gonna try and dash this way. Like she's gonna have to. Unless she goes all the way around and she's dead. I don't think she can get out of this. All right, can we just start fire? I don't really want to tank this. Oh, I got knocked up. I'm gonna back out. I can't tank it. I'm too bad. I'm too not good at tanking. I'm also taking a lot of damage from it. Jeez Louise. And the ammo's still here. Probably shouldn't have beached that. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. I was dead anyways. Did we not have Honor there? No, Honor wasn't there. I guess that's probably why. I didn't hate the Call of Duty Fire because they were all like backing. And the only one who was alive was the ammo who can't really steal it. But I guess you're coming back and killing everyone. So, you know, just, just as bad. But that's fine though. We should still be in a pretty good position, I think. Yeah, there's Sentry. But yeah, I think defense will probably be worth a Spirit Robot. Probably be my best call as my last item. Then if I want, I could also get rid of Dynasty Plate Helm and instead get uh, get cooldown, more cooldown. Like I get Chrono Spinner instead. Because at that point, the pen from Dynasty Plate Helm isn't going to be that much worth. Like the 15 pen... It's like, it's not going to do much of a difference between these two, having that also. So I could get rid of that and get Chrono Spinning if I want more cooldown later on. And then I could get more heals off. Because late game, I, in, at least the way I play Raw, late game, Raw really turns into like more utility. I'll still be doing decent damage with my ult, like decent burst. But mostly I'm going to be there for the heals and the aura that I have. It'll help out the chalk and the on her a bit. That's all good stuff. It's all good stuff to do. I'm really they keep fighting with me not there, which is really frustrating. I mean they're not bad fights for them to take, it's just like I can't do much. I'm not there in time to help out. At least I hit people with that, but it wasn't really who I wanted to hit, per se. I don't need to tank this, I guess. Just keep pushing up left. We could go for mid. Alright, I'm actually gonna go for mid.
Ouch. That was a lot of damage. I kind of knew I was dead there, so my plan was to go up there and give my team some heals before I died, but that's fine. Let's have Rod now. And then I'll go for defense afterwards. I just need to be positioning better. The ammo's really doing a really good job of diving me. I gotta watch out for that. We might actually... Never mind. We're pretty close to being able to win here. We can maybe... If we get ammo, we can get another Phoenix, I think. I guess Honor's dead. Never mind. I mean, I thought Honor was still alive. We just need to group and get ready for fire, I think. Yeah, after this, we're going for Spirit Robe, which is somewhere. Somewhere in the in the defense tree. Yeah, it's really just positioning now that I'm messing up with. I'm trying to, like, heal more aggressively than I should. I should be waiting until my team, like, disengages and heal him back a bit more. But we should still be okay. I'm still, like, I'm still helping my team. A decent amount, I think. I just need to help him out a little bit more and die less, and then we'll be fine. I'm gonna go push up. I'm push, pushing up right lane. Hopefully, they're not gonna be doing fire right now. Sir Kedar also has been doing really well since being behind. I really want to get that farm, but Sir Kedar's just pushing the way without me. Kind of crummy, but that's fine. I'm assuming Box is gonna ward it. Yeah, and I have another ward too to place. Oh, did they destroy that too? What the heck? We both destroyed the ward at the same time. I just gotta be careful of ammo coming in and diving me here. I also don't know how much my alt does with my build right now. Alright, well. That's a lot of alts used. Heal back here. I gotta just stand further back and watch out for the ammo. The ammo is like the one who's really getting to me. Everyone else I'm fine fighting. My heal's down, man. There you go. I kind of want to wait to heal the tower, but that's fine. It's okay, we'll get our health and come back up. I can use my heal on the Phoenix then. I wish there was a way for me to say wait. That was terrible. I missed everyone with that one. I should have waited for more setup. I think that's game, though. That's game. Yeah. I don't have a heal to help my team for another little while, but I think we'll be fine anyways. We're gonna have DPS take this down. GG team. Hey, we won. We won ourselves a ranked game with our raw middle lane. I feel like my positioning late game was kind of questionable just because of the ammo coming in behind me. The ammo was really the one who was giving me all the issues, though. I think I was fine against mostly everyone else, positioning-wise and everything. It's just ammo was being a little butt, a little butt face, messing me up real good. But that's okay. We still got ourselves a win, and we helped our team with some heals. We got some good damage off early. We got a few early kills, gave us a lead, and then playing a healer from a lead, it's like, it's really easy. I don't know. If, I didn't even check. I don't know if Sylvanas built uh, Rod of Asclepius, but. I feel like if not, then my heals just kind of, you know, they overpowered them regardless. So it's like, whatever, man. We got lots of TP for that one. 10 whole TP. That's not that many TP, but that's okay. We'll take it. Only 11k damage, which isn't a lot. I was really focusing on healing later on. I feel like my 11k damage is like all early game, then late game, which is like, here's some heals, everyone. That 15k healing is pretty good, I think. Especially since it's 10k more than the Sylvanas got off. Yeah, I mean, doing more damage wouldn't be a bad thing. I guess I could have been focusing more on hitting more abilities and stuff, but I was really just wanting to help out my team because they were just going off. Like, Honor was doing really well. Bacchus was doing really well, so just giving him heals and everything was super good. I think. <laughs> yeah, he didn't build Rod of Asclepius at all. I feel like Rod of Asclepius is better than Lotus Crown. I feel like if you're going to build both of them, that's fine, but I think if you're going to build just one, Rod of Asclepius would be better because it actually increases the healing, whereas Lotus Crown just gives you protections. But I guess it's really, like, depending on what you're trying to do. But anyways, that was Raw. 
Not tons of damage, but that's okay. We did what we wanted to do. We healed her team. We did damage early, and we got some we got some decent okay kills. A, a few of them at least. Anyways, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again for another episode in a little while. Probably next time we'll be playing a soloing character, because that's what I do lots of the time. Yeah. Take care, everyone.